Okay, so today we're going to be talking about the trail arm and you're going to be talking particularly about how to move your trail arm in such a way that makes the downswing so much easier. Easier in terms of contact, easier in terms of distance and easier in terms of less effort. So what we need to do is we need to lock this arm into a certain place in the backswing which I'm going to help you with in a big way. So the first thing that we need to understand is what your hands are supposed to do in particular what is my right palm supposed to do so when we hold the club the palm will face pretty much towards the target but as we swing back what we want to do is we want to make sure that the palm is facing away from you so see the way my palm is facing the wall to the side of me here now what this will do is this will do a couple of things but the big thing that it'll do is it will keep the club face under control so lots of golfers i meet will excessively bend this arm and then the palm ends up facing more up towards the sky and then you can see now what happens with this type of backswing is the club face gets really open so as you try and sequence a good downswing the face is really open or it lends itself to pulling down on the club golfers that i work with be you guys included once you practice this they get the feeling of the palm facing more away from them you can see the difference club face is much squarer which means then from here you can learn how to rotate down and through so first thing is just practice get used to that feeling of as you take the club back by the time you get to the top of your backswing, you want to feel like your palm is facing the wall to the side of you. Now, that's the first one. The second one, should we say, is going to form as grip pressure. Okay, so when you hold the club, you want to make sure that you can feel a connection between your trail palm and your lead thumb. Okay, see what I'm doing here. Okay, so I feel like my palm is squashing my thumb. Now, because lots of people think, well, if I just swing back, like so, my left arm is pretty straight, that's enough. It's not. You can see the difference now. Look, I'm going to use my right palm to push my left arm straighter. And this gives me more width. It brings the shoulder blade around and it helps me complete the backswing. So I meet lots of people that over move in the backswing. Okay, so they really do lots of like rotation in the backswing. And then they end up with really limp looking arms. No. Solid base more width with your arms and feel like your arms are the thing that is pulling your chest and your shoulders to complete this backswing and if you can get those two feelings one of your right palm facing away from the target in the backswing position and two the feeling of your right palm pulling your left arm into a nice straight position you are going to have a backswing position which is way simpler way simpler to sequence a downswing which is going to give you more consistency and you can kind of see from here if i get myself into this position that i've been talking about Look at that. I can just drop that down on the back of the golf ball, pretty much guaranteeing good contact each and every time. Find it mimicking what I tend to see with a lot of people that reach out for help. Loads of movement and arm position. Yeah, you can see here where I've got a decent contact on that, but it's just nowhere near as effective and as easy. I'll see you soon.